It's a pulling drag. It's a pulling drag. Keep the line tight. Oh my god, that is the biggest fish I've ever seen in my life. This is a giant. This is gonna be like over 10 pounds. This is insane. Oh. Oh. Oh, how's the camera? It's doing good. Oh, okay. It's recording. Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Go Fishing with me. Today we are hitting Kensico Reservoir. This uh, reservoir is very good for its lake trout. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's not the best lake trout season, in my opinion. Uh, you, you, they are more active in early winter and early spring. So we are right now in the dead winter. Uh, we probably gonna end up catch some uh, brown trout instead because those are the fish uh, more tolerant to the cold water. If I don't catch fish today, it's totally normal, guys. You can come out here in the springtime. I'm sure you will catch lake trout, plenty of them. Hey guys, bad news. It's already iced up. We probably won't be able to catch anything here. Oh, jeez. What is that sound? This is a sound of ice. That's amazing. All right. Let's see if we can find any moving water that, uh, on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, there are people fishing on the other side of the bridge. You know what, that is... I don't know, I really don't. That could probably be a windy area. You know, wind is something we don't want to mess up. What do we do? Uh, you know what, let me just get to the windy side of the reservoir and see how bad it is. Wow, wow, look at that rock. It's covered with ice. Look at that branch. Is this something? That's amazing. Well, this is very shallow, guys. I don't think these fish are very shallow in this dead winter. Not very confident that I catch fish here. And this spot is not that bad. You know, let's, I'm gonna start from here. You know, that rock is not covered with ice. We would be safe just standing on that point. And there's enough headroom to cast our bait. You know what, let's start here. I'm gonna start with my heavier rod with uh, a bigger uh, rooster tail because that's gonna enable me to cast fairly far. Uh, that's what we need. All right, let's get into fishing. Oh, there's people fishing there. There's a couple of them. Wow. 
نیستند We hooked a giant. That is giant, guys. We can even land this. No kidding. It's a pulling drag. It is pulling drag. Keep the line tight. Crowd, guys oh my god am I recording yes oh my gosh it's gonna barely fit in the net Insane. Oh. 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 How's the camera? It's doing good. Oh, okay. It's recording. Absolutely monster fish, guys. This is a brown trout in Kensco Reservoir. I think this is over 10 pounds. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest brown trout I've ever seen in my life. Not even on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let me measure the lens. I know you guys like to know the length of it. 25 inch and a half. Oh, absolutely beast. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh, this is super heavy. Oh, I am so hyped, guys. This is a 10 pound brown trout. Jeez! Oh my gosh! This absolutely monster brown trout in New York State. I have let this fish live. Even though I am super excited, I am super hyped. I have to let this fish live. Oh my gosh! This is the fish of lifetime. Oh shit! I just fall down. I was so excited. This is a very icy rock. Watch out your step, guys. Let's go. Let's go, Papa. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude. Oh, let's give him a little bit of time. My hands are freezing. Give me a strong kick, I'll let you go. Just one strong kick, okay? Just one strong kick. Okay guys, he has swarm off strong. Now I can sleep in peace. This is an extremely big brown trout. This is the trout that you would wish for for a lifetime, guys. I am just experiencing it right now. Unbelievable fight, guys. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. 
this is uh, only 10 minutes in today's fishing and I already caught my biggest trout of my life I don't know how to deal with the rest of the day because this is a very beautiful day I wouldn't say it's a perfect condition for fishing because I am right at a cove hiding from those brutal wind it's all iced up down the bridge over there because the wind is blowing this way and that kind of uh, blow all the ice floating ice over that corner so that corner is all iced up and we have a little open water right here i can cast and uh you know the wood behind me just blocked the wind for us so this is a perfect harbor <sighs> i still couldn't get over that fish i don't know when i'm gonna fish again i need at least 30 minutes to cool down because I am crazy right now. I am out of my mind. I almost bended my net. Oh my gosh. So guys, I was so excited to show you the fish and I forgot to show you the lure that I used to catch that monster brown trout. It is this, a quarter ounce original rooster tail in this uh what i would say brown and not brown a little dark red and orangeish color and with a gold blade you know my experience has told me that if you want to catch a good trout match the bait color to the trout color that is really weird i know you may not heard of that anywhere else that is just my personal experience and personal opinion I always catch the trout on the color that matching their body. Oh, I was so pumped. My heart was beating so fast. It took me like about half hour to come down. And I don't know. Oh my gosh, I need to pee. I need to pee. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue cast. Holy shit. Now I'm confident this technique is actually working. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So first off, we're gonna cast out to the point that you think there's fish. I know under this bridge, it is what do you think? At least 20 feet deep. At least, at very least. Because I know my bait was dropping about like 10 or 20 seconds without a stop. So, but we're not gonna get all the way to bottom because this is a very sharp travel hook. We don't want to lose our bait. We're gonna let the bait drop about 15 seconds. Let me show you what I do. Cast out as far as you can and let it drop but I use a left hand, it well, depends on which hand you are casting. Let's use left hand to hold on the line and let the line go. Once in a while, you gotta feel the line because when those trout bite, they are biting when that base falls. If you have a totally slack line, you're gonna have no idea when they bite a lure and you can totally miss a bite. At the point when you start a reel, I want to give it a little strong twitch. You know, that twitch will just make sure these spinner, they start to spin. Sometimes you can cast out and you can do a slow retrieve, but a spinner, it didn't actually spin. And that is not good. Cast your lure out, pull your line, and just feel the fall. Don't let your line go totally slack. Give a little bit of tension. I mean, I'm not saying you should drag the lure. Just give you a very tight arc on your line so that you can feel if there's any twitch on your line. By the way, I am using 10 pound braid with eight pound fluorocarbon line. Guys, I'm really not in the mood of fishing. I'm gonna, this is my last cast. I'm gonna walk up and go back home. I can't do this anymore, guys. I'm done.
So, let me give you a quick rundown of what I've, what I've been doing here. So this is the spot, guys. I hope you can see it. And there's a posted sign. This is the New York City water supply property. So you don't want to put any garbage in it. If you are living in this city, protect your water. Right now, we are walking back towards this bridge. Uh, you can actually fish here. So this is a spot I used to fish in the summertime. Um, the bridge, right under the bridge is pretty deep water. And when you walk over here, uh, there is actually a door. I don't know if you can fish there legitimately, but this door is not closed. I have fished uh, here before. You see that? It's a very good spot, especially when the weather is totally, totally unfishable and you still want to come out of fish. This bridge is where you can fish. And on this side, there's a little bay here. It's totally frozen right now, but this is also a very good fishing spot. And if you see this bridge, it's gonna protect you from rainfall. Guys, I was planning to fish uh, three to four hours today because the condition was not very good. It's very windy. There are really limited space for us to fish. You can see on the right side is iced up and the left side is windy. This is just one spot I can fish. So, but we made it. We made it. And we made it in the first 10 minutes of fishing. That is just awesome! This afternoon, I'm gonna cut the video together and put some awesome music to it and I will show you guys the excitement I had. Oh. Alright, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, this is something I want to show you. Uh, if you come out fishing in the reservoir, and you see one of these blue signs this means you have to put your permit in your car before you go out fishing because these are protected area only fishermen are allowed to enter this uh, it's free the permit is free just you need to go online and fill a couple of forms and you will get a permit right away you can print it out on your own and just put it on your dashboard of your car and you will be right to go.